Hello YouTube viewers, welcome back. This is me Hasan Slim. So today we're gonna learn about trackball. What is trackball and why we use in Windows form application? For that you need to create a new program or existing program whatever. So I search trackbar. Here is the trackbar. I just drag the trackbar over there. Alright. I'm gonna set the label. I just set the label and uh, makes him let me set his font so you may be able to understand or view clearly 20 okay I just copy that control C and V I over there all right here's the some properties of trackbar properties here is the properties of trackbar the name of the trackbar is trackbar1 through which we can access in the code section ok visible true value 0 use weight cursor bottom right if I select both you can see here the, the style of its tracker tick style changed tick frequency can be here the tick frequency change to 3 I write there 1 and let me show you what is the main purpose of tick frequency if I just si set the size of the track bar to maximum I'm gonna change their maximum to 20 here you can see there are 20 points and I if I set the and if I set the where is it if I set the tick frequency to 2 then it will take the jump of 2 on each next point here you can see there is a 10 points now I just write the one let's go to code section and after that we will detail about that first of all you have to know that the check bar only deals with integer value to deal with the floating point value we can use a s different kind of mechanism that we will use in this tutorial all right let's go to code section what I gonna do? I just try to the label one dot text is equal to trackbar one dot value dot two. What I need to do? I need to convert it to string. The better way to use the trackbar value we need we use yeah, integer x is equal to trackbar one dot value now I use over there x dot to string now you can see when I start the program Come on, why are you taking so much time to build a startup? YouTube viewers, I just want to tell you one more thing. The practice makes a man perfect. You need a lot, a lot of practice to be a best one. Now, here you can see the program is started whenever I need to update the value to view the value of text using ok I just gonna do that this dot update 
and this dot refresh now if I start the program what's happening to you for that I can use a timer which automatically increment automatically use this code and make it enable I just enable the timer now I just copy that code into the timer tick now when I start the program it that value will be changed in the wrong time here you can see the value is changing on the run time it's just because of that the timer is continuously in the running position and this that this code is always in uh, is in the running position and continuously updating the values whenever I was using in that form section the form section not in the running position all the time it just uh, execute the code only for once line by line but it continuously execute the program now I just what are you gonna do oh the what is the hell is happening I just copy that over there what are you gonna do I just place another track bar over there there is a one value there is a second value and there is a third value now what are you gonna do let me show you I go to label I just write over there int y is equal to track bar 2 that I have created now label 2 dot text is equal to y dot to string all right and label 3 dot text is equal to x multiplied by y dot to string now here you can see the uh, multiplication of 0 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0 when I increment this it remains 0 because this value is 0 when I increment this here you can see 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4 let me make it more clear to you by adding the multiple uh, multiplication sign over there using label I just select that and see V I just set to multiplication sign over there and here I just set a uh, equal to sign okay now when I start the program here you can see 0 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0 4 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0 4 multiplied by 1 is equal to 1 and 6 multiplied by 4 is equal to 24 now when I just change it to 6 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0 and 6 multiplied by 20 is equal to 120 here you can see on the runtime how we can change the value using track bar alright now how we can deal with the floating point values we just can do the what we can do that we can do that we just assign a double over there suppose suppose that let me here in this on this track bar I want to use a floating point value that increment by 0 0.1 on each tick for that I use a new mechanism which is that x dot value multiply by 0 
and quantity to double now if I start this program here you can see is a 0 0.1 and hope you understand how we can use the interval of the tick in the floating point value it's a mechanism you can use a uh, any range just like I place multiple zero over there zero point zero 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 one and I just start the program now you can see it's showing me the value by multiplying there hope you understand how we you how we can use the track bar the track bar is used to change the specific location or the values using on the runtime using track bar tick even I can use the let me even I can uh, let me place the button alright I just place the button over there okay now what are you gonna do I can even set the position of the button using that track bar for doing this I just go to port section I just write over there button one dot location is equal to new points what I gonna assign I just uh, assign x axis I need to create the variable int x axis comma y I can I can't use minus sign in the variable x is okay now x axis is equal to track by one dot value I'm gonna multiplying by 100 or 50 so I take a big jump so we can also understand the uh, we can also understand that how the track bar works alright I just gonna assign the x axis over there and providing y axis over there and now terminate this line or the statement and now start the program now here you can see I just want to move the location of the button here you can see the location of the button that's is x axis and that's y axis I can move that so this may be helpful in the games in the other program just like if we want to create the media player we will use the properties of track bar and it's make clear the ma logic of the track bar so I think it's enough to learn about the track bar. Hope you understand completely. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned. Thank you.